Anar came here to mourn for him. Now they got Dukha Sunna Kolo Chana because he died valiantly for Goa. I have come here for only one reason. And I know that you have come here for the same reason. You have come here because we want justice for Father Bismarck. Am I right? I'm so close to Father Dekuch. We want justice for Father Bismarck. And, and until and unless I get the answer or we get the answer, we will not rest. This is the only agenda of this meeting. I am in Margao Paul Malla. I am telling you, if the police, if the government doesn't give answer to this, to this Father Bismarck, doesn't give justice, we will go to every taluka, every village with the same agenda. I am telling you, the Bismarck spark is going to ignite Goa in a big way. So I am asking a question today. I am asking a question, a sudden question. Sarkar Lagi. Same question I am asking the crime branch. Who killed Father Bismarck? I'm just Father Rick Kone Mallo. Can you all ask this question? I want you to resound here. Father Rick Kone Mallo. Can you say? Who killed Father Bismarck? Ask. Parsi Kana Se Kaan Bond Nalle Haji Kahe Ko Gaya Na Lauda. If you want answers to this question, if you want answers to this question, we have to ask another question. Who killed Father Bismarck? To answer this question, we need to ask another question. Who benefits from his death? Any murder, any murder when it is committed, the police first look for the motive. If there is no motive, there is no murder. So who benefits from that? Let's find out. The locals. Father Ache, Mormon, Tore, Science, Tevonti, locals. Tore, Sagleno, Tore, few who benefit, who will benefit from his death because he always opposed big projects going on in Science, Tevon. Second, the builders of Goa. Not only from Science Tower, the builders from all over Goa benefit from his death and they have a motive to murder him too. The politicians of Goa have got a motive to kill him because elections are on the corner and they can polarize voters and certain political parties are already taking benefit from this. Lastly, the government has got the biggest motive so, I am going to the BJP government because the is designed for the regional plan 21, RPG 21, and the RPG 21 was Father Bismarck was opposing. Father opposed, he was opposing RPG 21. He was, his only demand was de notify RPG 21, send it back to the people, back to the villages, so they can discuss it properly and a transparent plan can come up. I am asking you one single question. Assuming Father Bismarck was alive today, adding any other original plan by Cardinal, what would have happened? Can you tell me? Who would have been the first one to rise up? Father Bismarck! Because the original plan directly affected his island in San in, in, uh, San Esteban. So he would have tried to protect his village. And Teza Awas would have resounded in every village of Goa. And the government knew this. The government knew this. It looks as if all the other forces have been compromised. I don't see any other, uh, you know, who are really fighting for the regional plan are not making any noises. They are making whimpering noises. Whimpering noises. So the only noise was Father Bismarck and Taza Awas bond killer. So, these four, somebody with a brain has used all these forces. The locals, who know the topography of the village, have been used, maybe they took over some boys. I don't know, I won't go with the investigation part which I have done. I'm just giving a broader theory. Locals have been used, the builders have been used to finance the thing, and the politicians and the government 
have used the government machinery. The politicians has even used the media to a certain extent to defame his name. That is now Kabar Kela. And that is now Kabar Kela. And the guy bab do karun ek chitra karne to to defame him. And this is for this reason that I started investigating into Father Bismarck's death, not because of anything. Kitlin's Kitlin's own police mail. I will look at the investigation. Karo wasana, but because his father and we were going together musically. When I went to the site, I saw and I saw his boy is talking to the police and their story version of it. I could not believe it, and I'm still not believing because I'm convinced that father also couldn't kill. Father also couldn't kill. I don't buy that cock and bull story that the press and whoever is telling. Yeah, coming back to that. Wait one second. Before, if you really want to understand about Father Bismarck's death, you have to walk with Father Bismarck into the beautiful village of Saint Stephen, along with his beautiful people. I have been there for the last 21 days, almost 27 days, meeting people, interviewing people, finding out. So I'll just take you along with me of what I have found out. So this will give you a clear picture of what happened there. Now on the fateful night of the fifth, this is Father Bismarck's house. Father Bismarck at at two o'clock, the garra fatna ek bar asa. He sat down there. Somebody took him from his house and took him there to the bar. He had a beer. Then he saw two boys sitting at the side of the house. He started talking to them from two to five. From five, the boys went. Uh, he went. He went to his house. He told the boys, according to the boys, according to the story of the boys, this is the version of the boys which I am telling you. He, they went out of the house from here. They said, okay, they made a rendezvous to meet at Udia. The two boys went to the marshal to buy a crate of beer, and father walked. This is called a Waichi Wat in Saint Stephen. This is a place where people go who walks. They walked here, and this is a place called Udia where he. Went up to here and then he came down and sat down here. And the boys came and again they sat down at this place with a carton of beer. They sat down at this point until nine o'clock. Finished the carton of beer as per the boys, but the boys' theory does not gel because it is the boys who are telling. The boys are telling that they drank five five bottles each and that father drank two. But the Weiser report doesn't say he drank nothing. It almost there was no alcohol in his body. So I doubt maybe they drank all that. Six six bottles each themselves. I don't know. It's the for the police to find out. And there were beer caps at this point, which the police did not collect for the next last six days. They got a little very vital evidence destroyed by the police. Then at nine o'clock they went to a place. They, they they took the crate of beer, went back down this road. They decided to go to another place called Babal Manush. So they went here. According to the boys, they went to the bar called at Tonka Suresh Bar. They went on the motorcycle. They replaced the empty carton of beer here, and then they uh, took another carton of beer. Came back here, down this road, down Kubama, and this is the Manush. Now this is the end point. It's a dead end here. The village ends here, and then this is a bang. This is a very deserted place. Nobody. When I went there uh, around uh, the, when, on the fifth. One could not walk around this place during daytime. Also, too much grass, too much. Uh, uh, it, it was not walkable during the day. But at night, of you, there are some four people who saw them crossing here. That's what I met those four people. Also, they verify that they did cross that point. Up to here, nobody knows what happened. Now, this is around from this point to this point is around one and a half to two kilometers from here. Deserted road at night. You could not, can't walk it. But they had a torch. Yes, this, according to the story of the boys, they sat under the manush, they drank some more beers, and then father went to swim later at night, uh, and he was never found. Now, our investigations report have found many, many glitches. We have found out many clues, which proves that these boys are lying. You know that Anik Kade artist on the Fatherachi body, Mevla Upran, Amka, Kona Formallo, Ida 
चार दीस पे आनी एक रस्त आबर ना सो समी टोल मी दैट देर इज समी सो सम वेहीकल टू डेज बिफोर फादर्स डेथ सो वी वॉक डाउन दीस रोड एट टोंका टू सी वेदर दीस रोड इज रियली गोईंग टू दीस प्लेस एट बाबाल मानुष वी वॉक वॉक वी सॉ फोर व्हील टाइम मार्क्स डाउन दीस रोड अप टू दीस पॉइंट अ फोर व्हीकल कैन गो फ्रॉम हियर नो फोर व्हीकल कैन गो सो वी सॉ मार्क्स ऑफ टू व्हीलर्स गोईंग डाउन हियर सो वी वेंट 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 वॉकिंग 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 एंड देन वी फाइनली फाउंड अ पैच ऑफ वेट मन it looked like blood to me it was covered up so there were four guys with us there was john there was marian there was ivan the four of us had walked down this road and ivan noticed the uh, west at the side of the river here it's just hardly 50, 20 meters away from where our they sat down <coughs> the, at the side of the west and here was the mud now The police did not. The police did not comb the area where the day his body was found. Because if they had to check this road, they would have found the west. In fact, there was reason that they should have checked this road because the boys told the police that the day father died, early morning they got up because father was missing. They came down this road here, and somewhere from here they came into the. village chetanna nil dekha so so the police should have gone down this road and if they had gone down this road to check the road if they had to verify really if the boys had gone down here they would couldn't have missed the west they could they couldn't have missed the banyan it just shows how shoddy the investigation is this body i'm trying to bring to you the lapses done by the police and how vital evidence was destroyed this body कोई फोन मारो फादर बॉडी मेवली हु मेवली इन द मंदोवे रिवर फॉर वे एंड द पुलिस गोज देर विदाउट एनी वेन दोन वर फादर दोन तीन चार वर आई थिंक फादर कूड अशी रस्त्यार दौरि कैन यू इमेजिन अ पुलिस ऑफिसर को फोन मार सकना फादर बॉडी मेवला वॉट ही शूड हैव डन ही शूड हैव कम विथ अ प्रॉपर वेहीकल टू टेक अ वे टू टेक इज बॉडी फाला तो एक फायरमैन को सर घर घुसो पेटला ही विल रन अवे विदाउट इज फायर ब्रिगेड लाइक ए जोक आफ्टर थ्री आवर्स द लोकल डिसाइडेड टू टेक इज बॉडी इन इन सम अदर व्हीकल बट देन सम ऑफ अस रिफ्यूज दिस इज नॉट अवे लेट द पुलिस ब्रिंग द व्हीकल एंड टेक इट अवे दिस इज द प्लेस वेर द मनोज द बाबा मनोज द हट वेट एलेक्जली सेट डाउन एंड वे ही ड्राउ this is empty this is beer bottles and crates that you see there were lying there after five days even after his he was his body was found means the police they didn't bother they could have found out crucial evidence from those bottles who has drank those beers but no it was lying there and we took photographs of it there was a pen lying half there somewhere manjunath found it no investigation and this is the west that was found Close to the point where I showed you. This is the west that all important clue which shows blood on his banyan. This is the mud which we found, a wet mud close to the banyan which was covered up with sand. These 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 sand samples have been taken by the police, but till today no report has been done whether there is blood in the sand or not. There is no report done on the DNA test because the DNA test proves that proves it shatters. It actually shatters the theory of the two boys. The Dogaanji, Prigaanji, Kani, Fort Muram ka na koi na. It is very simple. Proof whether this a Maliya na chhe pal rakho tha, the father achhe, oh father achhe no. The kuch answer if it is yes, if it is this blood, the Prigaanji ko answer pa chhe. Ye blood koi sahi le. you are telling about some drama swimming story so what about this answer this now make a story for this blood if it is not blood then the investigation goes in a different path so why a nice police amchi meeting amur amka amche ro vaisara report am kot we knew that the vaisara report will not prove anything yes it was uh, important to investigate but we knew the dna the wet mud of the west is the more all important thing and this is what we are waiting for 
So who is delaying the thing? God is delaying the thing. It's the government. It's the government. Very clearly. They thought that Father Bismarck will die. Slowly it will, people will, normally that's the case in Goa. Or in Melo, Pant is our Sultan. And everything dies down. They never realized that the Bismarck spark will ignite Goa. And Goa will be on fire. Justice delayed is justice denied. Ami, Jeshwari Sangla, Ami to Ranga Asad, we have come here to ask for one demand. We want justice. Justice which is delayed for over a month. Justice that is denied to the family of Father Bismarck. Justice that is denied to the people of Kuwa. I thank one and all. Amakta, to me, Sagrani. There is no you know, there is no group here. This is a group called Citizens. We specially named it Citizens of Goa. It is not one group. Like, I belong to, actually, I have a group of my own called Goans for Goa. Avinash Tawaris, these people have called UGF. There are Pilan Forum. There are members from all over here. We formed Citizens of Goa. Why? Because the idea was to bring all people under one banner. Nobody is trying to create anything here. We want to unite people. Please to come. Don't you barik the scrap mentalist leave aside here. Okay? This is the reason why we, if, the, if we don't unite this battle for Father Bismarck will die. So, let the Father Bismarck has a moron. He didn't die in vain. A peat or kusli there sprouts and bring fruit. Shemar fruit. So, Father Bismarck eclosed moe melo and kuslo. But, they be. Hundred Bismarcks are alive today. In every